Sit with me and look up at the vast, dark sky. For as long as we've existed, we've wondered, what's out there? How did it all begin? The James Webb Space Telescope is our golden eye, seeing the first light of the universe. Now the universe's secrets are being revealed, filled with wonder and surprise. This is a new chapter in our story, a moment that will change how we see the cosmos. Take a deep breath. The universe is ready to tell us its story. To understand what Webb has found, we must first understand what it is. Think of it as a time machine, not traveling through time, but catching light that's traveled for billions of years. The farther we look, the further back in time we see. Webb was designed to see infrared light, ancient light stretched by the expanding universe. Its giant golden mirrors catch this faint ancient glow. It's like special glasses that see the ghosts of the first stars. Why does this matter? These first galaxies are the seeds from which everything else grew. Scientists expected to find small, messy, simple galaxies, tiny seeds slowly growing into giants. The mission, point this powerful eye at the darkest, most distant parts of the sky and see if our ideas were right. Webb launched, traveled a million miles, unfolded its mirrors and cooled to near absolute zero. Then it looked back to a time we could only dream of seeing. And what it saw was not what anyone expected. The universe's first light revealed surprises that would change everything. Our understanding of the cosmos was about to be rewritten. Before Webb, our picture of the early universe was blurry and incomplete. We believed the first few hundred million years after the Big Bang were dark and empty, a time called the Cosmic Dark Ages. Gravity slowly pulled hydrogen gas together, forming the first stars after millions of years. These first stars we thought were massive, bright, but scattered and lonely. They'd form small, chaotic proto-galaxies, the universe's first building blocks. Imagine building a house with pebbles, slowly adding more over time. That's how we thought galaxies formed small, messy beginnings merging over billions of years into majestic spirals like the Milky Way. All our computer simulations showed this slow, step-by-step -step process. So when Webb prepared to look at this era, scientists expected to confirm this theory. They were ready to see the tiny, messy baby galaxies they'd predicted. The story made sense. It fit with everything we knew about gravity and cosmic evolution. But the universe had other plans. Webb's mission was about to challenge everything we thought we knew. The next chapter would be full of surprises. Our old story was about to be rewritten. Then the images arrived, postcards from the edge of time. Scientists were stunned, not by emptiness, but by clarity and abundance. Where we expected tiny, messy collections of stars, Webb saw galaxies that were already big and well-formed, some even had spiral arms, features we thought took billions of years to develop. Yet here they were, shining in a universe only about 500 million years old. These galaxies weren't rare, they were common, bright and massive. They were filled with millions of stars, far more than our models allowed for. It was like finding a skyscraper where you expected a foundation. How did they build so fast? What blueprint did the universe use? Scientists began to ask new questions. The universe had a different, faster way of building its first galaxies. Our cosmic blueprint needed a major revision. Let's compare what we saw with what we expected. We thought we'd find a cosmic nursery, newborn galaxies slowly growing. Instead, we found a cosmic primary school, galaxies already active and complex. The universe grew up much faster than we imagined. The old story was slow, bottom-up formation, small things combining over time. But Webb's discoveries suggest a top-down process, massive clouds collapsing to form large galaxies all at once. This radical idea challenges decades of scientific thought. It's like finding a diary that proves history happened much earlier than believed. 
Our cosmic history books need rewriting. The universe didn't crawl out of the Big Bang. It sprinted. This discovery doesn't just add a detail, it changes the whole story. We must rethink how galaxies and everything else came to be. The first chapter of our cosmic story is far more dramatic than we ever imagined. Scientists are now racing to understand this new rapid blueprint. The universe's early years were a time of astonishing speed and creativity. We're only beginning to grasp what that means. Why does this matter to you? Because it's our ultimate origin story. Understanding the first galaxies is the first step in understanding how we got here. The elements in our bodies, carbon, oxygen, iron, were forged in stars, then scattered into space. For us to exist, there had to be stars, and for stars, there had to be galaxies. This discovery changes our understanding of how those factories were built and how quickly they started. It's a reminder of how much we still have to learn and a lesson in humility. The universe can still surprise us, no matter how advanced our theories. It encourages us to stay curious, keep asking questions and be open to new evidence. The James Webb Space Telescope was built by thousands of people from around the world. In a divided world, projects like this show what we can achieve together. When we look up, we see a shared mystery and a shared purpose. The search for answers unites us all. Our place in the cosmos is a story we write together. Every great discovery gives us better questions, not just answers. Webb's findings have opened a new set of mysteries for the next generation. The old question, how did small galaxies grow into big ones, may be obsolete. Now we ask, what allowed the universe to build massive galaxies so fast? Maybe dark matter acted differently, or the rules of star formation were unique in the early universe. These are the new frontiers of cosmic thought, sparked by a few unexpected images. Science moves forward through puzzles and surprises, not straight lines. Imagine solving a puzzle only to find a piece that changes the whole picture. That's what Webb has given us, a piece that forces us to rethink everything. This process of questioning drives innovation from new telescope technology to advances that benefit life on Earth. Our curiosity about the universe fuels progress for everyone. The questions are in many ways more important than the answers, and the journey of discovery never ends. So, where do we go from here? We stand at the dawn of a new era. The James Webb Space Telescope has only just begun its mission. It will keep searching for more surprising galaxies and analysing their secrets. Each new discovery helps us solve the cosmic puzzle. We're living in a golden age of discovery, and you're part of it. You don't need to be a scientist to feel the wonder. Just look up at the night sky. We're seeing things no human has ever seen before. The universe's story is still being written, and we're all part of it. The search for knowledge is a journey that never ends. Please like and subscribe to Cosmic Discover.